Hi guys, welcome to another Windows tutorial, and this tutorial is going to be based on a theme tweak on your Windows 8 Professional or Enterprise. This tutorial is going to revolve around the file explorer or windows that are always changed when you apply a wallpaper. There's a color scheme that it applies itself to. For instance, I have wallpaper right here. It has a Windows 8 logo, but it's blue. If I were to go ahead and click on my file explorer and click on the border, it's the same bit of color as the wallpaper. If I were to go ahead and change it to another wallpaper, for instance, let's say the orange one, set as desktop background, it would change it as well. So what I'm going to do is, if you guys aren't into that type of thing, and you want to go ahead and have your windows a solid color, the only option I'm going to be giving you is white. There isn't any other color that I can go ahead and show you besides white, because that's what the program is made for, is to show you how to apply your windows border to white. So if I were to go ahead and click on this program called white windows, this will show up. You have two options. You can either enable white windows or you can disable white windows. If I were to go ahead and press enable white windows right now, the border that I have right now is blue, correct? I press it and it's white. So every time I were to go ahead and press it, each window, it'll turn blue. So if you don't want that nuisance, what you can do is completely enable white windows. Doesn't require a startup option to go ahead and run it. It just is completely as is and you can go go ahead and close it out and it'll be white forever so if I were to go ahead and close this out and select this window it's white same thing goes with another window that'll be white too every time I select it and the only way you can go ahead and change the taskbar color is to manually go and right click on your desktop press personalize go to the color and press that or whatever color that you do want. Now that's up to you if you want to go ahead and do that. However, if you do do that, every window or wallpaper that you do change, the color that you set will remain the same. The reason why is because you just created a custom theme and that theme is going to remain white until you actually click on the Windows one to where it transitions to every wallpaper that you do. So that's it for the Windows tutorial. If you guys have any questions or if you want more in-depth details about this program, go ahead and leave your comment. If you have any trouble with it, let me know. Go ahead and make a comment. I'll see what I can do to answer your question. I'm usually up to date on that type of stuff. And until next time, bye.